Welcome to my abode. Luscious. Smells like my basement. didn't rob a gun store. And that's a true story. My dad lived in Toronto with my grandma. He scotch taped a window in this gun store in Toronto, smashed the window, stole a whole bunch of handguns, and left before the cops came. And my dad's sleeping on a couch upstairs when the cops come. And he sits up and they start saying, we know you're the guy that stole the guns. So instead of being like, okay, take me away, officer, he runs at the cops full steam and they beat the shit out of him. Had to go to the hospital and was breathing out of a tube through his chest. They said, we're going to give you the option to move away and we're not going to give you any charges. So my grandma was like, fucking right, I'm gone. And she transferred Loblaws to Kingston and that's where he met my mom. And they fucked like bunnies and <laughs> produced this guy. <laughs> it's kind of like a mixture of my dad was a crazy kid and look at these crazy kids in the schoolyard shooting each other. Mixed meanings, I guess. It is whatever you want it to be. Just like life, motherfucker. Bryson, get the fuck up your ass, buddy. This song's for that guy who won't get the fuck up his ass because he's lazy and hates bouncers. Speaking of that, get that guy. This song's called Johnny and a Gun.
I don't remember those times, but I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, I remember we were here when I got the text that it yeah. happened. And I yeah. was fucking, I was like, well, Definitely jam's over, that. guys. And you guys kept saying, well, what happened? What happened? And I was like, man, um, the story, it's like, fuck. <laughs> uh, we're here jamming, and I get a text from another close friend that an ex-band member of ours that moved out west had uh, killed himself. And I was like, I, I didn't know what to say. I, they were kept asking me what happened, and I was like, uh... And then I think I told you later what happened, maybe. Yeah. But, like, I have a hard time with stuff like that. Wow. You know, saying, like, well... Yeah. I think this, this song is kind of like what I think his note would have been, like, to his mother and his family. Even though I'm, we never got to know exactly what he said, there was no funeral or anything. Yeah. Some guy driving by is looking at us because we stand out. Even in Toronto, we stood out. Bill's got a two foot mohawk. We're and our drummer at the time says, What the fuck are you looking at? To the guy. He slams on the brake and he gets out of his car right yeah. on Young Street. Middle he, leaves of the his street. Car. he leaves his car in the street. I've never seen anything like this. And starts running at us full blast. You know? <laughs> yeah. So Bill fucking That's stiff arms the guy and the guy drops on the pavement. Mm. He comes back and he, dry, and he rolls down his window. He's like, Hey guys, I just want to say I'm sorry, you know, for whatever. Where are you guys going? I'll drive you there. Oh, yeah. 
and our drummer at the time says, oh, we're just going to the beer store. And I'm like, man, shut the fuck up. This guy's going to stab us all. We, we're not going yeah, to the beer course. store. We're going to the police station to file an incident report. Uh, yeah, tooth and nails, it's like after that day after Bill fucking stiff arm that guy right. in Toronto. I was just thinking about how everything is so hostile. And, uh, you know, it's like, can't everyone just fucking get along? The show is called Tooth and Nail. Signal, I, I don't think I've ever told Bill this. Uh, we, we wrote the music together. Yeah, yeah. Jamming. But the lyrics are, he was with a girl at the time, and she was just bringing him down. <laughs> and uh, that's pretty much what it was. It's about following your heart and not letting people bring you down. You actually really need to rely on yourself to be happy. You can't rely on 
other some anything, whether it's a person or something in your life, you have to make sure that it's you that's making you happy, not fucking you know your relationship or whatever. Mm-hmm. And in his case, his relationship was bringing him down. Yeah, really hard. Looking back, yeah, definitely, I can see it all now. paint a lot and I had a canvas and I drew that without without this this wasn't there it was just a hand with a flame and the flame was a spirit and I don't I didn't know what it meant at the time and then uh, the song came and then the idea of writing the comic came and as I get to the second last page I realized he's gonna need the lighter the lighter the, the hero's named after Bill right Bill's middle name's Franklin that is true yeah yeah wow yeah there was an awful incident Yes, the winter before I joined the band, actually, where <laughs> cooking pierogies one night and somehow it ignited my sleeve and ignited my back on fire. That is true. Months passed with no visitors. Finally able to communicate, he only has one thing to say. Where is she? Pierogies are evil. Well, I should mention this story doesn't mention anything about pierogies. It's actually a love story. <laughs> and he's an actually a superhero. Just like Bill in real life is a superhero. Right, right. But Bill can't stop time. He's, that's not his superpower. I'm working on it. The song's called Frozen Solid. Broken hearted I feel 
Here, but read it to me because I can't read. <laughs> I'm not sure why that's funny. Oh shit. Oh. Don't answer. Hi. Hello. You just totally made me like Jackie Chan on Rush Hour 2 where he has to answer his phone in the middle of shooting. Who is this? Chris Tucker? No, I will not. No. Chris Tucker, I will not smoke heroin. Can you smoke heroin? I didn't even know you could smoke heroin. Chris Tucker, you teach me something new every day. You crazy fucking guy. Say hi to Jackie Chan for me. Okay, adios. <laughs>